Now, I recently had a viewer of mine, uh, I believe his name is Mr. Tom Vuatar, uh, former frogman. I appreciate your input, sir, uh, as, a, as a U.S. Navy SEAL. Um, he's had a lot of great comments, uh, stuff for me to chew on. One of the interesting things he pointed in my direction was a YouTube channel called International Tactical. And there's uh, a great video there about police officers back in the day carrying six inch barrel revolvers okay just out of choice going out and buying them all right so why the hell would you want to and you can see i'm i'm wearing a black shirt that helps with mitigating with printing carry something like this six inch gun all right this is a 686-3 you can see there's no hillary hole there it's got a firing pin mount of the hammer came with packmire grips i've got wood grips for it too I saw this and I just had to have it. Okay, why do you need a Colt Python when you have this? This is iconic. The 686, 586 L frame revolvers are iconic and I believe that they are gonna go up in value. So I saw a price tag on this, $800 out the door, I had to get it, had to. Um, but a six inch gun, I'm actually uh, more inclined to carry this, believe it or not. Can seal carry this as well. Which a lot of you might be like, well, what the hell? Okay, with it with a good outside the waistband holster, okay, such as the one I've got here. This is a uh, no-name brand that I found at a gun shop. It's leather. It's tight, um, tight fit. But man, you throw on a jacket or a vest, this is very easily concealed. Why the hell would you want to carry a six-inch gun? Well, you know from. Tom Vuitton's, uh link to International Tactical, this LAPD police officer said that, hey, look, this is why we carried six inch barrel guns. The longer sight radius, okay, makes it more accurate, less room for error. That's, that's, that's a fact. And then the big one that I like is that you get and maximize the muzzle velocity out of this particular round, which is 357 Magnum or 38. Six inch barrel gun, you're gonna maximize the velocity. So for those reasons, I actually really like, I'll carry at least a four inch, uh, but I like to have four or six inch uh, barreled guns. Um, not to say that snub nose and three inch guns aren't very good choices. They're much more concealable. Okay, so if you're looking for absolute maximum concealment, three inch or less barrel revolver is going to be the best choice. Uh, but I can tell you right now, this can be carried Mexican style. And as long as you don't have it pointed down at your other gun, all right, you're gonna, cause you, look, I don't have a lot of space down there, ladies. So I cock it to the side, all right? And basically the barrel is pointed uh, down the pocket line. And even when you sit down, that's fine. Okay, so it's, it's pointed at an angle, Mexican style, the handle's right there. You tighten your belt up and, and look how concealable that is. You can't tell, you cannot tell at all that you've got that size of a weapon on you. But I think with the six inch gun, folks, a shoulder rig, or an outside the waistband holster with an outer garment is the best way to go. But uh, don't overlook it. I think a larger barrel gun is great for home defense, but it's absolutely viable for concealed carry, believe it or not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to advocate that. Uh, it's not for everybody. Uh, but I do like maximizing the muzzle velocity. I like the, the, the better accuracy. It feels really good in my hand because I got big hands. I like to grab a handful of guns, so an L-frame, feels really good. So I'm going to do just a little bit of shooting right now um, from concealment so you can kind of see where I'm coming from. Alright, we'll run a few combat drills because ammo is scarce. Ammo is hard to find. Uh, I also have a speed loader double pouch on me, which doesn't really conceal very well either. But if you're going to open carry, this is great. Um, but the problem I find with these is that it's hard to get your hands around the body of the loader. You end up having to use your fingertips, which is a fine motor skill we lose in a fight. So I'm going to show you the difference in getting the gun back up with this versus just keeping it in your pocket. When I keep it in my pocket, I can grab the entire body of the speed loader with a gross motor skill versus a fine motor skill. Okay, so here we go. Um, first drill, I'll just run from... Uh, Actually, I'll run it from concealment. Okay, we're gonna do that, that first round from a retention position. All right, this is really where maybe a six inch barrel gun might be difficult to get and clear and fire that first round from right here. We'll be shooting a 38 special to start. Okay, but here we go, this is that first round. 
Contact is close. Oh, see, yeah, fine motor skills, man. All right, there we go. I dropped it. All right, I reach for that speed loader. I can only grab it with my fingertips because it's in there so deep. All right, I'd rather grab a hold of that speed loader by the body with my with my gross motor skill. And as I pulled that out, my fingertips lost it. And remember, folks, in training, if, if something messes up, we've got to continue to focus and, and grab that off the ground and continue to roll. All right, let me try that out of the pocket. All right, this time I'm going to keep the speed loader in my pocket. This is how I usually roll for concealed carry. Now, these look good. And you can carry two right here on strong side, but like I said, they're hard to get your fingers around. So I'm going to try and get to it uh, from this pocket. So here we are about seven yards away. We're going to do a build drill. Five shots, three seconds. Uh, we'll run from concealment again, Mexican style. And you can see that's very, very concealable. All right, so here we go. All right, man, a lot. That's hard to miss. With that, those are 357, 158 grain magnums. Man, they do a great job. No, no doubt about it. This barrel length helps with that. All right, we'll be doing that modified stress fire technique again here from a pocket. So I'll do one shot, and then a speed reload, and, and see how much faster it is. Here we go. And we're back in action. That's how much faster it is when you can grab the speed loader with a gross motor skill. We don't ever want to pick, especially in HKS with your fingers. That's a re release mechanism. It's not a handle. Okay. All right, guys, I need to save ammo. But there it is. Six inch gun is definitely concealable. It's a fighting weapon. Whether home defense or if you want to carry it on the street, you can do so. All right, folks. Remember, get out there and vote Trump. Do it for your kids. And we'll see you guys a little later.